everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I am making a batch of white tea and ginger, and I've decided to use goldenrod mica from Be Scented. I have, this is groovy green. I think I might want apple green. I might change this. Um, I have poppy red from Nurture Soap, and I have red gold from Workshop Heritage. Let me just get my other green. Yeah, I want green apple from Be Scented. And I'm going to pipe on the top. I'm not sure what yet. I'll figure it out when I get there. But let's get started. But I got to go get my lye. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess we're ready now.
Welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and pipe. I've waited forever. Um, if you're looking for a fragrance that slows trace, this is definitely one that does that. Now, I went ahead and used my larger bag because I have five bags in here, one of each color. I just put them in separate bags, clip the end of them, and put them all in here. Now, right now, I just have white coming out because for some reason the white is more fluid than the colors. So I'm just going to kind of do this and hopefully the colors will come out soon. Oh. There's definitely more white than the other colors so Colors is going to come out. There's some of the yellow. go ahead and cut white tea and ginger and this is the um, inside of one of the end logs it's still a little bit soft but I'm gonna go for it anyway okay let's see what else is in here hopefully some I didn't swirl it with anything I really wanted to but I wanted to see kind of what the colors look like when I poured the white over the... I knew it would kind of spread it really thin. But it was really hard for me not to swirl. But I like to just seeing a touch of color in there. I think that's pretty. And this is a nice strong fragrance. Love, love. I say it every time I cut, but I just love my new bar shapes. And I haven't seen anyone with these 
<clears throat> same type of shape, like short and chunky. I really like it. And I'm almost out of all of my bars that were the old shape. So that's exciting. And also my older packaging, the how I wrapped it in like the clear cello. Um, I'm pretty much out of those too. So almost everything now is in organza bags. Um, with the exception of a few. Which uh, I think I'm going to be changing that my packaging again. Out of everything I do, I think that that's the one that I'm least... How should I say it? The least um, content with is packaging. I always feel there's got to be a better way. Oh, I like that. The inside bars are always prettier because they've got more swirls. But I'm always looking to change it to be, you know, better presentation, um, cost effective, travels well, um, time, thinking of time and um, how long it takes to make or to wrap and you know you gotta include your time so it has to be something that's fairly quick but of course presentation is most important to me um, so I've just been all over the place with it and at some point I know I'll find what I really like and be settled on it but in the meantime I just my brain never stops Trying to figure something out that suits all of my needs. I'll just finish cutting this loaf and then I'll do the rest off camera. This was a middle loaf. And the little drops, the, it's kind of cool, it's different. I don't think I've ever had um, one look like this on the inside. Kind of spotty, like dots. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.